key passages so straight out of the preface where I'm stressing that capitalism is uh, really passes the test on many different levels. And this is not widely recognized even by some friends of capitalism. But in part of this uh, excerpt, I say capitalism is sustainable, which means it can endure because it's so practical. Now in the book, by practical, I mean it produces the goods. I mean, it produces prosperity. So it's practical and because it produces prosperity, it's going to be sustainable. It's not going to run out of gas, so to speak, or run out of resources. But then notice I say it's practical because it's moral. Now, this is very controversial. Uh, most people will say capitalism is practical. It produces the goods, but it's unfair. It's unjust. It's unequal. And I'm saying it is moral. And I'm saying it's moral because it's egoistic. Now, by egoistic, I mean pursuing your self-interest a very controversial position, but it's one of the reasons people are uncomfortable uh, advocating capitalism. They know it has to do with egoism, but they've been taught for years that egoism is a bad motive. Now, notice I say egoistic because rational. What do I mean by that? I believe the argument could be made that it's rational, that it's proper, that it's logical to pursue your self-interest, that, that in many ways it's self-destructive not to. So it isn't just a whim, it isn't just the emotions of the thing, follow, follow your own desires, it's the rational thing to do. Now, then I say rational because natural. And this is where it's ultimately ground in human nature. Aristotle centuries ago said, human beings are the rational animal. Uh, meaning, how do you distinguish us from the beast? We have reason, we have this faculty called reason, our minds. And it has to be used in a certain way by the rules of logic, but it's also not an automatic thing. People are not automatically going to use their reason. Sometimes they abandon their reason. Sometimes they pursue uh, irrational modes. But if you say uh, the rational is essential to human activity and human flourishing and human happiness, you see how I'm basically arguing here that capitalism is a great social system because it's so humane. And I truly mean humane in the sense of fit for human beings. Other systems are really detrimental to human beings. And by human beings, I mean rational creatures who want to live their life and enjoy their life. So um, there's a lot there. There's a lot to unpack, but that's part, that's really what the book is doing. It's unpacking the connection between all these key ideas. And it's, and it's trying to highlight why people might not want to be pro-capitalist, why psychologically, in fact, they might actually feel uncomfortable living in a capitalist society, which is very dynamic, very moving, very forward-looking.